I am Mr. Mahesh Mehta. Uh, uh, I am a businessman. So people who are going in a mosque here in India, it is compulsory to wear a mosque uh, cap. But uh, in Iran and Morocco, the people who are going in the mosque, they are not wearing the cap or the, they are not covering their head. Why? The brother asked the question that in India, people normally wear the cap when they go to the mosque. But when he went to Iran and Morocco, etc., people don't wear the cap when they offer salah. Brother, there is no verse in the Holy Quran or the authentic hadith which says that wearing a cap is fard, is compulsory for offering salah. No way it is there. But there are such hadith which say that the sahaba, they did cover the head, always. So in that way, if a person covers the head for respect, Alhamdulillah. Because if you analyze that in the Eastern culture, in the Eastern culture, for respect, we wear the cap. If you go to England, they say, hello ma'am, and they take out the cap. Hello ma'am, how are you? So take out the cap. That culture is taking out the cap for respect. Eastern culture is wearing the cap for respect. But we Muslims, we don't follow any culture of England or this, because it's a sign of respect. And there are hadith saying that sahabas, they always covered their heads. Not with a cap, sometimes with a cloth, if you go to Saudi Arabia, etc. But there is no hadith or Quranic verse which says it is fun to wear a cap. So if a Muslim offers salah without a cap, inshallah, even that salah will be accepted. It's not a fun. But if someone says wearing a cap is wrong, even that I don't agree. If someone wears to wear a cap, because no hadith says that if you wear a cap, your salah will not be accepted. So it's optional. So those people who want to wear a cap, wear. Those who don't want to wear, don't wear. Hope that answers it. Next question from the slip.